show day morning. Just woke up. Gotta have some breakfast, some oats, and we're gonna check what they got. So my mom here got like egg, sausage, pancake, lots of butter, and some raisins. And I got myself here some oats that I'm ready to pour. And there's like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I got my meal inside there for later on. It's gonna be sweet potatoes and some chicken. Other than that, I gotta put some quick oats because they got some other oats, but I don't really like them. So I'm gonna go with these guys. Looks funny, hey, how you have all that? <laughs> Just yeah. putting oats in here. I told you you can eat the oats, man. Yeah, they didn't put nothing. They didn't put oats. I don't want to put too much oats. Let's see, yeah, it's about good. Yeah, that's how you break it. When we were in the Winnipeg, that's all we should be. See, I'm trying to eat the same thing I did every day. Okay, guys. Good morning. Uh, that's fine. We're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks funny. <laughs> you come all the way here. I come all the way here and I got myself some oats. <laughs> okay. It's break breakfast time. You should do breakfast. Huh? See, so I, I had this. all my... Almost finished. You only have your oatmeal. That's not good enough for me, but it's before the competition, so getting ready, have something to eat, and then I don't know what else you have to eat. Yeah, we'll see. Well, it's a pretty nice, decent restaurant here. It's a free breakfast, so <laughs> which is good. Walking the lonely streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town Okay guys, so we are finally checked out. Uh, we are now in the car, parked a little bit closer to the stage itself. Gonna go get the ticket um, for my mom so she's able to watch, record. They are gonna be recording us already. Like they do have a designated like recorder, whatever that may be. Um, it's a big stage, so they're gonna have the stage. They're gonna have a little, what is that called? Not like a PowerPoint presentation, but like a screen on the back so everybody could see. Um, with that said, I'm gonna have my mom just record me Pretty much me and maybe the guys in, around me. Um, it's going to be a tough one. So now, this is going to be the last scene before show day. And I just want to talk a little bit before, well, I guess show day. Today is show day, but before I go on stage. And with that said, you know, it's going to be a tough competition. Uh, there are guys that are going to be taking performance enhancers. 
Um, I know I've talked about that lots, but and that shouldn't be the that shouldn't bother that, that like that shouldn't be the reason why I'm doing this show because I'm versing people that are taking performance enhancers and I'm not. The reason why I'm doing this show is because I want to challenge myself. Now, no matter what placement I get, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever placement I get, um, I'm gonna be happy with it. Not because you know it's oh fourth or fifth or whatever it is. Because I know for this show, out of all the shows I've done, six shows in total, this is going to be the sixth one, I believe I brought the best, best, 110% best package yet to date. Um, this is not only the leanest I've been, the biggest I've been, the most aesthetic, the best posing. So if I lose two people, you know, I have, you know, uttermost respect because they're going to have to work just as hard, if not harder, to beat me because I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to battle on stage. And really, guys, I'm going to leave it all on stage. If I have to pass out from posing, if I have to <laughs> fall over because I'm holding a pose for too long or whatever it may be, I'm just going to leave it all out there, give it 110% and battle on stage. No matter how much older these guys are, how much the younger, I highly doubt there'll be anyone younger. But with that said, guys, I'm going to battle on stage. I expect them to battle. Um, this is not going to be an easy competition. This is probably going to actually be the biggest competition I've ever done with not only the most competitors, but the toughest competitors because they got top five in their competition. Now, with that said, that's going to be it. I'm going to give 110%. I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to battle on stage. I'm going to do everything I can to get that top first placing. Now, no matter what it takes, guys, let's do this. I want to thank all you firstly for all the support, everyone on Instagram, everyone on YouTube, everyone on Facebook, wherever you guys are. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. And I'm super excited. And you guys are motivating me to keep going and push myself. And we're only a couple hours out. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys after the stage and let you guys know how pre-judging goes. Um, I'll probably do that on my phone. But with that said, it's time to get aesthetic. Yay, Mihal, yay. Keep going, boy. Competitor number 111 from Edmonton, Mila Kabi. All right, gentlemen, quarter turn to your right, please. Quarter turn to the back. Quarter turn to the right. And quarter turn front. And 115, please switch. 113, 115. Yeah. 114 and 113, please switch. 114, 113, right beside each other. No, nope. other way. Thank you. Quarter turn to the right, please. Quarter turn to the back. Quarter turn right. And quarter turn front.
110 and 111 please switch, 110, 111, and 115 and 112, 115, 112. Quarter turn to the right. Whoa, that's cool. Quarter turn back. Quarter turn right. And quarter turn front. In fifth 
place. We have competitor number 114, Hermel De Luna. In fourth place, competitor number 111, Malad Habibi. Oh my gosh, I hope he's going to win. In third place, competitor number 110, Nihal Oh, oh yay! Nihal, <laughs> third place, not bad. In second place, not bad, Nihal, you get the third place. Jeremiah He's going to get trophy too. Our uh, first place Scott, men's what's physique the eight job? goes to competitor number 113. Don't cry, Rod. Rod. Don't cry. Good job. At least you win the third place. Mmm. Peanut butter cups. So, the show's over. Third place. Third freaking place. I know it's only six competitors, but these were the best competitors. Top five in their class on their show. This is the biggest competition in Alberta. Now, I am CBBF qualified. Now, if I were to ever, now, I'm CBBF qualified for only so long, but I could always come back to this show and compete again. But with that said, if I was to ever do a CBBF show and I won, I become an IFBB pro and that's the ultimate dream of mine. So with that said, I'm so, so happy. I'm eating Reese cups right now. Didn't get to eat some backstage. So I know what I need to tweak and what I need to work on. Um, but with that said, guys, we're coming home with some hardware, hardware, blah, 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 blah. Third place provincial athlete, 19 years old. Crazy guys, I'm so <laughs> I'm so happy. Now you can celebrate. Yeah, now I can celebrate, I can relax. Um, big things coming, lots of big things, more videos. I know I kind of went quiet for a bit because I had to focus on a lot of things and a lot of things that I'm going to talk to you guys about. Now, with that said, that is going to be it for the show. I might show you guys a little bit what I'm going to be eating. I showed you guys I ate a little bit of a Reese cup already. Um, I'm going to get some food, get some meat. I'm not going to overdo it. Because honestly, I feel healthy. I feel good. I don't feel like I, like, I feel like I did a show. I actually worked hard every single day. But with that said, I feel like I gave it my all, gave it my best. I, I think I could have got a little bit higher placing. Um, because it was, it was, we, it was really close. It was like, I don't know what the judges were exactly looking for, but it was really close. And it was, honestly, it was a great show. Everyone gave 110% effort. I gave 110% effort. I was cramping on stage. They were cramping on stage. And honestly, guys... Every single athlete worked their ass off. So, best of luck to everybody out there that competed and is still competing right now, actually. And uh, it was so much fun. And it's time to head home, time to get some food in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's time to get aesthetic. No, it's not time to get aesthetic. Ugh, sorry. Get aesthetic bra. He's my trophy. So, uh, <laughs> nice trophy you got there. What'd you get? What place? I'm third place. So third place? Yeah, that's what, pretty good. Woman's bikini? <laughs> woman's physique? Good job. <laughs> I just took a video. Took pictures too. Okay. So where are we going? KFC. KFC. For celebration. For the <laughs> winning of the champion. <laughs> Number three. You still on recording? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah guys, that's pretty so cool. Is it close? Really close to me? No. Or is it good? Oh, it's not too bad. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to KFC right now. I'm not really craving too much. To be honest, I can probably maintain this physique, but I'm feeling really vascular. Like I asked him we could go to a restaurant for celebration. Yeah. I don't mind. But he said he's not craving for now. Not so craving, but fine. let's go to KFC. Let's get a little bit. Okay. Let's head home. All right. Maybe they think you're from US because you're wearing a US shirt. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm looking really peeled right now because of all the sugar. <laughs> What we got here, two burgers, two zinger burgers, spicy. 
and I got some. Oh wait, what was that? Popcorn chicken or a tender chicken? Tenders, chicken tenders. I'm not gonna overdo it, but I'm feeling good, and I feel like I could definitely bring a bigger, better package next year. Gonna work on my chest, shoulders, and my back. I feel like I won almost every pose with my back. Um, I'm not trying to sound cocky. I, like I said before, every single competitor there was crazy. Like these guys were rounded and <laughs> they had the muscle. So I definitely got to bring in a better package next time. But third place, perfect. I was even happy with top five. Fourth or fifth, I would be happy. But third, I'm ecstatic. So. Okay, show me your boy. Show me your tummy. You can't really see in the lighting though. Huh? You can't really see in the lighting. Yeah, the sun, I know. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's even better outside, you know. Yeah, sure. Took because more pictures. Because yeah, you should take up your shirts. <laughs> I should take more pictures outside for sure. Yeah, you should. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back to Edmonton. Let's have my burgers. What are you having? Chicken. Chicken tenders. Chick oh, so good. I'm not craving anything, but it tastes good, and it's real food. You know, I usually crave chocolate, which I'll probably crave chocolate for the next couple of days. But then I'll taper it down, I'll include chocolate in my oats and you know, maintain the diet but enjoy myself a little bit. Maybe have a little bit more chicken, maybe have a little bit more vegetables. Be smart about it because I could crave and for days on end I can mess up my entire diet. Now if I just crave for a little bit, we'll be fine. Like, oh, tastes good though. Not gonna lie, it tastes good, feels good, I feel good. Mom feels good, she gets to eat her food too. Yeah, <laughs> We're I'm all celebrating happy. too. Celebration. Now I need to party. <laughs> now I need to start. <laughs> now you're gonna get drunk. You get drunk, yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, like, competing does take away a little bit of uh, your social life. You're pretty calm though. Yeah, no, competing does definitely take away some of your social life. Yeah. But it's almost, like, it's rewarding, right? You, go, I think everybody needs to do something with their life that yeah. actually makes them feel it's good. once in a out, lifetime. Yes, exactly. You could go out and party and enjoy yourself every single weekend, or you could do something amazing and change your entire life, right? This, you're not, this is not gonna change my entire life, but it's gonna definitely improve some my more, aspect, my career of personal training. And it's a confident, you're getting confident. It, it builds confidence, yourself. yes, it builds experience. And yeah. I could definitely say, you know, Anyone could go say I go out party every weekend, but not everyone can say I go out and become successful every single, let's say, four or three months or whatever. You prepare for that, right? Yeah. So with that said, well, go for your dreams, keep at it, and never stop, guys. Just don't look back. Don't let the naysayers stop you. Don't let yeah. the negative people stop you. Time is Enjoy going. yourself, but know you must have a goal in life. And you're not going younger. You're not. Yeah, exactly. You're not getting any younger. Okay, that's good for now. to be someone else All we want, all we want is please Giving us, giving no time to breathe